No, no, no. Whatever. That did not work. <laughs> Total malfunctions with me today. I was trying to take the thumbnail again and it just went live. I pressed the wrong button, but that's okay. And then I'm going, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, well, I'll get my gloves on. Let's get the camera a little bit. There we go. Hey, Creations by Baby Doll, how are you doing? How was your weekend? I was trying to take a different thumbnail, but it just would not let me. I'll just have to fix it after we're done. No big deal. But that was kind of funny. I was like, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> All right. I got to shake up a couple of paints. So I wanted to do some um, light switch covers, I thought, today. Uh, let me get another cup because I want to put a little bit of silicone. You know, I don't have paint, uh, silicone in all my colors. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of this color in here so I can put some silicone in it. And I thought we could do a little bit of some nice light pink and uh, this uh Key West. The color is Apple Barrels Key West. So I'm putting a little bit of uh, just silicone in that color. The rest of it will not have silicone. And then the other color is Honeysuckle Pink. And I believe it's Deco Art Honeysuckle Pink. Awesome. And then I thought maybe we could dip a couple of them too. But first we'll start, I'm gonna dirty pour on this one. Let me get my white as well. Or maybe some pearl white would look nice in this. Some pearl white and some regular white. I was still trying to take the thumbnail and I pushed the wrong button and made it go live and uh, oh well, <laughs> wrong thumbnail. <laughs> So I'm just going to set that there. And this is a double light switch cover. It'll be for two light switches. And then a little bit of that pearl, pearl white. And this honeysuckle pink is a real nice, like, dusty rose pink. Very pretty. And I'm going to just do like a figure eight in it. So I'm not going to mix it much, but just kind of. And I am going to put just a tad pink there. All right. Hey, Connie, how are you doing? Welcome. Sorry, guys, I was a little bit late today. I was just having malfunctions with the computer, but I think it was honestly operator error. I don't know what was wrong with me this morning. I was a few minutes, well, a half hour late, actually. So, all right, I've got a double light switch cover, and all I do to get these ready is I go ahead and take a fine grit sandpaper and just very lightly uh, take a little bit of sandpaper to them. It gives it a little bit what you call um, tooth for the paint to kind of stick to. And then after I've done it with sandpaper, I just wipe them down with rubbing alcohol because I don't want them to have, um, you know, like dust from doing it, from doing the sandpaper. So, all right. Now I will just pick this up and kind of move it around a bit. So... Hey, Mr. Doughboy, how are you doing? Uh, I don't know. It must be my luck. The other day I saw you were live streaming. I thought, oh, Mr. Doughboy's live streaming. And I clicked on there just as you were getting off, just as you ended it. But I seem to do that. I don't know what is the, uh, I, I get notifications like really late, like as people are come, being done with their live streams.
just kind of helping it to that corner, helping this little bald spot, and then this back corner. And I have added so many of these light switch covers to my Etsy. All kinds of colors. All right, let me wipe my hands off. Check the chat. Yes, yes, yes. I did get your, sorry, I meant to respond to you. Uh, I started to respond, but I haven't sent it yet. Yes, that's a great idea. I think that would be a great outdoor activity. Uh, Mr. Joe Boy had talked about adding a, small like bottle brush onto a drill and doing it and I think that would be a great idea uh I think I would need you know what I was thinking would be great for things like that because I have a few different ideas that are going to be kind of messy ones I'm going to just torch this a little bit guys but um I think this summer I would like to get uh like a kitty pull those plastic kitty pulls and then I could try some of those ideas out so then we could contain the mess a little bit in the swimming pool. But uh, yeah, it sounds messy, but it sounds super fun. And it might be a cool effect. But all right, so this one is pretty, um, let me see if we get, it's just that the light is very pastel lighter colored one there, guys. So, yeah, great idea. Great idea, definitely. So now I want to do one that is kind of like um, some of that same pink, this honeysuckle pink. But um, I want to put this uh, apple barrel warm buff, kind of a little bit of a tan, a real, real light tan. And then also this pebble and some white. So I want to do kind of a pink, a light pink and brown and white. But I think I'm going to put a little bit of this honeysuckle and put the silicone in the pink. And I'm using spot on treadmill oil. Oh, okay. Oh, I was reading your thing um, about your Facebook page. You'll have to let me know. Um, I have a Facebook page that's just the Whimsy Creek Art. You can find me on Facebook under Whimsy Creek Art. Do a friend request or whatever on there, and I'll, I'll be happy to check out everybody's uh, Facebook page, add you. But, yeah, I'm Whimsy Creek Art, just the same over on Facebook, pretty much everywhere. Uh, on Etsy, it's Whimsy Creek Boutique. All right, so I think on that one, we're going to do find another one of those little cups. And I just reuse my cups over and over and over again. This one's actually cracked, so that one might be towards the end of its life. Granny's Art Room. All right, okay, I'll have to check it out. So this pink here, we're going to do a couple of them here with this. Um, I might even add some. I'm going to need more pink, actually. And we're going to do just light colors, light pink, and um, some white and some real light brown. So I'll put just a little of that in there. But it's kind of a gray tone brown. All right, guys. I'll have to remember to come back to this stream to find everybody's Facebook pages. But yeah, mine's just Whimsy Creek Art. Same over there. I'm doing a real, like a dusty rose pink and then a um, kind of a grayish brown tone. And so it goes real well. This is the Deco Art Pebble and the Apple Barrel Warm Buff. Then just a tad white. And then the silicone is only in the pink. Hey, Robert, how are you doing? You're not live anymore? I saw you were you were live just as I got on here. 
I was just hooking up all my stuff and I saw you were live too. Also chapel creation. Oh, hey, Amber, you snuck in there too. I was looking down adding paint when you snuck in. So we're doing light switch covers today. And you guys always let me know if you have any questions. I'm super happy to answer any questions. Let me move these out of the way. Did a little live, okay. Oh no, we never, nobody's perfect, Connie. We nobody, who wants to be perfect? Perfect, perfect is boring. No, no, no. Imperfection is just great. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But yeah, no, no worries. I nobody's perfect. So, all right. So what I got here is I've got an outlet cover a double light switch cover, and then a single light switch cover. And I'm going to do them all with this uh, same color. So I think I will go ahead and just give it a, especially on such a small surface, it kind of distributes the colors a little bit better. So I think I'll do the double light switch cover first. And I might have to add more paint to do all three of these. I don't know if I can do all three. And in... I'll set that right there. Yeah, I'll have to add a little bit more paint. I'm going to drip on those other ones. That's okay. Sorry, I'm not seeing chat there for a second. All right. My hands off, and then we'll give that one a little bit of a torch. I wonder if I can get the lighting better for y'all. Mike, does that look super dark to you, or is it just me on my screen? Okay, let's see if we can fix that up. We, we got to fix that. Does that fix it a little? A uh, little, but not, not a lot. And that's too much. <laughs> oh, the window might work. Yeah. Let me. Oh, shoot. I don't want to spill paint while I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, let me just see if I can fix with the window. Some natural light. That always works best. That's pretty good. Is that a little better? Mm -hmm. It's just such a northwest winter in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> it's, yeah. And I don't understand because I've gotten several new lights. I got, let's see if I can show you guys. I got these new ones. I got those new lights, two of those, then two of these other LED lights. So it's, I think it's my camera just not picking it up very well. Anyways, okay, I'll get back to, let's give that one a torch. But... Hopefully that'll just help here. Not many cell action happening today, but that's okay. I really like the um, just marble look with that color. I wonder why it's, I wish we could have it nice and bright, but the Pacific Northwest is um, very dark in the winter. I wipe, the, I wipe that little bit of a drip off there. Gonna go ahead and add just a tad more in this one. And I think it could use some more white. Yeah, it's dark. 
that help any guys I, I open up I'm right next to a window but it's such a gray day that I don't even know if the opening though I mean it helps a little but it's still probably not great but All right, and then we'll do that one next. So, did anybody do anything exciting this last weekend? What is everyone up to today? Anybody get a chance to paint the last few days? What have y'all been painting? I'm curious how, how you all are doing. What have you all been up to? See, if I lift it up, it really comes out of the light, too. Oh, is it nice out there in the Tri-Cities? Yeah, Pacific Northwest, you never know. Yesterday morning, we had a, a light dusting of snow, enough to just kind of, school was on a late start and stuff like that. But by midday, it was completely gone. All right, so now we have those same colors, but I'm going to actually add just a couple more colors in there. Just see what that turns out. I'm going to add this, um, but not much, just a little. It's the um, Apple Barrel Cascade, and it's somewhat of a new color for Apple Barrel. I'm really enjoying it, though. Uh, and we're going to use it more in just a second. So a little bit of that dark um, burnt umber. And then just a little bit more of that pink for this um, single light switch we're going to do here. And then just a tad more of that cascade. And then white. So that'll be for that one. Let me give it just a, almost like a figure eight. Oh, did you guys get a place? Oh, two months. Okay, yeah. Especially during the holidays. That makes it feel a lot longer. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's so exciting. Congratulations. Hey, H7, how are you doing? We're just doing a few light switch covers today. Super gray, dark day in the Pacific Northwest. So, we're having trouble with some of the lighting today, even though I have the window wide open and everything. Oh, I like that one now. That burnt umber that I put in did have silicone. So that's why this one is because, um, getting a few more cells. That burnt umber had silicone. And the pink. Yeah, we had a, just enough snow yesterday morning to just kind of tease us. Not much, though. <laughs> oh, you're munching on white pizza? I, oh, awesome. Yes, I prefer white pizza. Um, I much prefer white pizza than red sauce. All right, going to just give that a little bit of a torch. We're getting a few cells out of that one. Oh, I'm liking how that one turned out. All right, now I'm going to move towards more browns and teals. So I'm going to use the more of that cascade. Let me get another cup. And you can just use these cups over and over and over again. All right, so now we'll work on one with some of the 
same browns, the burnt umber, and that first one was the warm buff, and then cascade, and Tuscan teal. That's a nice one, too. And the pebble, deco, I believe it's, yeah, deco art pebble. I'm trying to label all of my bottles these days so we can know what they are when I go back to it. So I hope everyone's having a good day. How have you been, H7? Insomnia getting any better? Okay, so that's probably enough for that one. Let me find the this palette knife. Give it a quick figure eight. Kind of a little funky figure eight, kind of, not really. <laughs> So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and pour that one. Yeah, I've been trying to um, take photos and add things to my Etsy shop, but the lighting has been an issue for that as well. So, struggles of living in the Northwest in the winter trying to get things like this done. <laughs> But I love it. I love the weather up here. I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's just certain things like photoing and filming and things like that. But the rain, I really don't mind. So we're going to do that same cup, the same colors here in just a minute. Oh, yeah, we don't have, we're going to have a Hobby Lobby soon, but we don't have one just yet. Um, but uh, we have, do you have Craft Warehouse out there, Amber? Um, that's where I get mine. I get it at Craft Warehouse. Uh, they have the deco art paint. And that's usually where I pick it up. Um. I think Joann's does too. I can't remember, honestly. Jo Joann's or Michael's, one of them has it. Am I getting out of frame? I am getting out of frame. And I don't really like um, Hobby Lobby's um, politics, I guess. So I don't usually use, I wouldn't probably buy Hobby Lobby too much anyways. Oh, you had a phone call? Oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, we have Michael's and Joann's, and we have Craft Warehouse, uh, which Craft Warehouse is a real nice one because they have the this one, the cheap paint. I love this brand. But um, now down uh, like south of Portland, we do have a Hobby Lobby. So my mom got me some Hobby Lobby paints for my birthday and Hobby Lobby has master's touch paints. They are nice. I will say they are nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a torch. And we'll use the same colors to do a single light switch cover. Insomnia is better lately. Okay, awesome. Hopefully, hopefully the cops have cracked down on the noisy cars because that's a shame. All your Joannes have closed. Oh, okay. I'm going to get a drink of water, guys. I'm going to get a quick drink of water. Uh, we have like one good size Joannes. And then we have this little tiny Joannes. It's really a weird thing. I don't know. Uh, you, It doesn't have very much stuff. It's the tiniest little thing. And so most people go to the big Joannes. And it just recently got a big, huge remodel. And so now I've only been there a couple of times, but I was super frustrated. I could barely find anything. They've remodeled it and moved everything. 
That's so good. I'm so glad your insomnia is getting better. That is just a miserable, terrible thing to no sleep. All right, just using those same browns and teals. And we're going to do this single light switch cover now. I'll better give it a quick. Uh, you know what, though? I'm not liking this one. I want to tilt it a bit. <laughs> and that's how my brain works. I'm just ready to pour the other one. And I'm like, wait a second. I got to fix this one first. Okay, there was just that corner that was just a little bit busy, so I kind of just tilted it off. And sometimes that's, if it's too, got a busy area, you can always go back and fix them. <clears throat> yeah, insomnia is terrible. Oh, you don't have a craft house. Yeah, I wish, I wish everyone had one. It's awesome. Uh, hey, Katie, how are you doing? Somebody had a birthday. So happy birthday to Miss Katie. She had one here recently. All right. Um, let's see if that's going to work. Okay, there. It was not level. Let me wipe my hands. So, yes, happy, happy birthday. Oh, that's good, H7. Yes, that'll help, definitely. Sorry, guys, it's kind of almost off, um, not in frame on the camera, but I'm trying to get it. All right, so far today, that's probably one of my favorites. Get it on your level, and we'll give it a quick torch. Get my hands cleaned off. Looks like blue cheese. Ew. Ah. <laughs> uh. Blue cheese is all right, but I don't know if I want my art looking like blue cheese. <laughs> I like blue cheese dressing is all right. Blue cheese, a few things, but uh, not when it's overdone. Not when it's super strong blue cheese. No, thank you. Other strong cheeses, yes. Yeah, Mike loves blue cheese. He would eat it on everything. Oh, thank you, Amber. Thank you. Oh, of coral. Yeah, that's awesome. So we only have two more for today, two more. So do you guys have any questions for me? Any questions, painting? I mean, any questions, it doesn't have to be about painting. I think this um, rocker style light switch cover, I'm going to go ahead and just use this same cup here. So I'm going to try to do these ones. Sometimes I get going so fast that I get my stuff painted up too quickly in the live stream. But I'm trying to keep these live streams down to about 30 to 45 minutes. Would I ever desire to increase production? No, probably not. Probably not. Um, only because uh, I just, um, I, I, I would just mass, if I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like a great thing to me. I think I would like to just increase quality. Yeah, that's always, you're always looking to increase quality, but never likes production, really. I think I, I probably produce more than enough, maybe lower the production a little, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> but no, I don't think so. Great question, though. Great question. Just putting little bits in here because this these rocker styles do not take very much at all. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, Passion for Pets. How are you doing? Welcome. Not going to be on here too much longer. Just going to do these last two. But and it's a dark gray day in the Pacific Northwest. Sorry, guys. It, I've got the window open next to me and everything, and it's just not the best lighting. No. Only the, how about every person on the planet that would appreciate my art? Uh, there's probably tons of people that wouldn't appreciate it. And that's just their styles are different, you know, and that's, I don't expect every person on the planet to appreciate my art. But how about every person on the planet that appreciates it? Because <laughs> you never know. Everybody has different uh, styles and preferences and. I'd, I never want to think that everybody is going to like this. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not for everyone. And you never want to work to please the masses. You want to please, you know, those, you know, few that are really going to. But it just doesn't work out to try to please the masses. <laughs> Never works out that way. Sorry, guys, it's kind of out of frame, out of the frame there. Can I get just a little bit more on this side? There's not much more in the cup. Just gonna get the last little bit out. All right, might use my palette knife to kind of help it. It's getting almost slippery where it's hard to get it. Yeah, definitely. You would always want to keep it enjoyable for yourself, too. If you're working too hard to please everybody and make too much, just produce, 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 then it becomes a burden and not enjoyable for sure. And then your quality probably goes down. I'm more worried about quality. Just using my palette knife to help it kind of move to those spots where it's not um, kind of bald spots. Oh, is lunch over for you? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just one more left. So you've been, uh, you've got to awesome timing for you for your lunch. That's awesome. So thank you for spending your lunch time with me. That's thankful. I'm so I'm so amazed that people even want to you know spend their lunch time and stuff with me. Thank you. Have an awesome rest of your day. So that had um, the only color with silicone was the burnt umber. So not many cells, mainly just with the burnt umber. I'm thinking this next one. I'm going to do some blues and white. Just a real simple um, cobalt blue. And white. Mike. Jimmy's in our backyard. <laughs> oh, probably guy. This only silicone is going to be in this Key West. And some white. Hey, artsy fartsy lovers. Welcome, welcome. Sorry about the lighting today. It's a little bit dark and dreary here in the Northwest, but. How are you doing? So, hey, um, I haven't responded back to your comment, but you were saying that uh, they had taken a few of your videos and put them onto kid um, 
Finley or whatever, I'm pretty sure you can appeal that because I he heard somebody else say that happened to them and then it took them down below their monetization level. But um, I think that you can appeal that. So um, I'm not sure. But uh, so here I've got uh, some blues and white and aqua. And this is our last one for the day. We're going to do this single light switch cover. Trying to get it level there. Wish I was left handed for this one for you guys, because then it would be showing better to the camera the you could see it happening Yasmin hey welcome how are you doing let me Sorry, guys, it's my arms are kind of in blocking your view. Always got to make sure it's level. I'm wiping my hands on the rag the whole time. My rag is so painted, it's not even really doing anything wiping my hands anymore. It's pretty well. All right, so let me give that one a quick torch. That one already has some beautiful larger cells. Oh, and a few small ones have popped up. But that's it for today. But yeah. You've been having some trouble with your knee? Oh, that's no good. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's that's no good. You're going to do an evening painting. Awesome, awesome. Are you going to do some brushwork or a paint pour? Uh, what medium? Are you going to do acrylics? So these will take a couple weeks to completely dry and then I'll give them a couple coats of the polycrylic and then they'll be up on my Etsy here in a couple weeks. But I've put so many up. Oh, I see a little bald spot trying to sneak. There we go. Um, but yeah, I've put so much new stuff up on my Etsy the last week or so. Acrylics and wood glue. Oh, OK. So are you using the wood glue as a pouring medium? Or are you going to do a pour with that? Because I knew, know a lot of people use the glue as a pouring medium. I don't know if I've heard so many people using wood glue, but hey. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I cannot use um, glue for myself uh, in my for a pouring medium. I actually tried to at the very beginning. And I'm allergic to glues. And even though I would keep gloves on and I would not touch the glue or anything like that, I would get hives. I would get hives from my neck to my toes and it was terrible. So um, I can't use glue as a pouring medium. I stick to pretty much Floetrol or Liquitex pouring medium when I can afford that. But mainly um, the Floetrol. Yeah, it was really bad. I mean, big hives. like. I don't know, uh, probably a half inch off the skin, and they were like up to four or five inches big hives all over my body from neck to toes when I would try to use glue, even though I wasn't touching it at all, just it, it being in the air. Oh, it's hard to get Floetrol over there. I bet it is. It is. Yeah, that's that's what sucks. Uh, now, the U.S. Floetrol is so easy to get. You can't get uh, Floetrol over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you're going to do three? Yeah, awesome. Are you going to do a video? I would love to see how yours turn out. But, yeah. Uh, 
little variety of colors. I think my favorites are actually all these single light switch covers, I think, turned out best, in my opinion. But they're kind of dark being on the dark, dreary day. But all right, guys. Um, any anybody else uh, have any questions for me or anything? Otherwise, um, I don't have any room to paint anything else. And then to, later today, got to get this new tablecloth. So next time you see me, I'll have a nice new tablecloth, hopefully down. Oh, okay. A bunch of you are doing a live stream at 8.30. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, what what um, time uh, zone are you on? Uh, I'm on the West Coast. So I'm Pacific Standard Time. So what time zone is 8.30 for you? What time? I think you're on the East Coast because you're Florida, I believe, right? So I think you're, um, is that East Coast time, I think? Hey, hey, Shepherd's Treehouse. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping in. I'm not sure if you heard me last time you had stopped in the live stream, but I said congratulations on your monetization, Shepherd's Treehouse. Congratulations on that. So Eastern, yeah, so it'd be uh, 530 for me. So um, that's about dinner time. So uh, I might be late, but I'll try to sneak in there after dinner. After I get uh, all the dinner all done up, then uh, I'll try to sneak in there afterwards. Awesome. Yeah, these light switch covers, they're fun. And they're real good. Um, a lot of people that are have uh, like are in rentals they, where you can't really paint your walls and things like that, it's great to do the um, light switch covers because then uh, you can change those out in a rental real easy and not have to worry about uh, any changing it up or anything. So, oh, it's okay over on Artist Haven's channel. Okay, yeah, I know. Uh, I, I know exactly who that is. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. So, all right, guys. So sorry, Tommy, I was just getting off of here right when you popped in and right when you pretty much popped in, uh, Stacy. So uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank everyone for stopping by. I really appreciate you all. Uh, and thank you guys for putting up with this dark, dreary, this lighting. I've got so much lights on it, the window open, but it's just gray here. Yes, you too, everyone have a good Tuesday. Okay, it's Tish, Doris, and Brenda. All right, all right. Awesome. I'll check that out. All right. So, uh, you guys, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. You guys have an awesome rest of your day. And be the change you want to see in the world. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Yep, see you on Friday. <laughs>